So when you're solving these equations, if you see a base of e, then when you write it in logarithmic form, you use the natural log. You don't have to write the base because it's always e. It's understood to be a little e in here. You don't have to write that. Um, and then just like with the other log, the other two numbers switch places. So if we're going to do number 32, number 32. We got to start by getting the exponential by itself like we've done with all the other ones. So in this case, we need to divide both sides by 5. Uh, 93 is not evenly divisible by 5, so let's just leave it as 93 over 5. Now the exponential is by itself. Okay, Yes, it, it's got some stuff in the exponent, but the term itself is by itself. Now, it's base e, so we're going to rewrite this using the natural log. So we have the natural log of 93 over 5 is equal to negative 3v. And we divide both sides by negative 3. Now it's the entire natural log expression, not 93 over 5 divided by negative 3. It's the entire expression divided by 3. So this is our exact answer in logarithmic form. But let's find out what its uh, decimal approximation is so we can compare it to what those of you who did it on Friday got then. Um, notice the natural log button is right below the log button. Okay, it's beside the number 4. So natural log of 93 over 5 divided by just the number negative 3. And the approximation is negative 0.9744 if we round to the nearest 10,000. That is our approximate answer for V. And just like <clears throat> I showed you the other day. You can check this. You can type it back in 5e to the negative 3 times. Use the answer button so that you don't have to round. And that gives you 93. Okay, you can always check these answers. <clears throat> okay, so let's do one more like this. It's, this is not on your worksheet. Okay, add it to the very end of it or something. Um, but let's do one more for practice with a base of E, so we can use the natural log. Okay, this one has a little bit more going on. We have 2 plus 3e e to the 2x plus 1 is equal to 8. Okay, 2x plus 1, all of that is in the exponent. <clears throat> Okay, just a reminder, you cannot add the 2 and the 3. I know it's tempting to do so, but you cannot add the 2 and the 3 here. We need to start by subtracting 2. So we have 3e to the 2x plus 1 is equal to 6. Then divide by 3. We have e to the 2x plus 1 is equal to 2. The exponential is by itself now. 2x plus 1 is entirely in the exponent. So let's write it in logarithmic form using the natural log. So we have the natural log of 2 is equal to 2x plus 1. got to solve for x. Okay, subtract 1 from both sides. You cannot, after you write that logarithm, you cannot change what's inside the logarithm. It stays the natural log of 2 despite what else we do to this equation. The subtracting 1 is tacked on the end. The dividing by 2 is the entire expression divided by 2. So this would be our exact answer the reason why I'm emphasizing that is because I believe on the 10 marks assignment, um, it, some of the answers are given in logarithmic form. They're not asking for the decimal approximation. Okay, uh, But then the decimal approximation, natural log of 2, close the parentheses after the 2. Then subtract 1, and then divide that entire thing by 2. So here is the approximate answer, negative 0.1534 is our approximate answer for x. And again, you can check it. Go back to the original. 2 plus 3e e 
2 times the answer plus 1, and that gives us 8. 